Hello, and welcome to another episode of Breadcast Music Talk. This episode, we are going to take a step back in time and take a look at one of the biggest heavy metal bands of all time, and the most recognized. A band that can be credited with being one of the very founders of the heavy metal genre, and that band is the ever-amazing Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath is an English heavy metal band that formed in Birmingham in 1968. The members of Black Sabbath are guitarist Tommy Iommi, Tony Iommi, uh, drummer Bill Ward, bassist Geezer Butler, and vocalist Ozzy Osbourne. Black Sabbath has 19 studio albums, 6 live albums, 12 compilation albums, 7 video albums, 1 EP, and 30 singles. Now, it's time to talk about the songs that I like from each of their studio albums. First up is their 1970 first and second albums titled Black Sabbath and Paranoid. Between these two albums, I, didn't, I only didn't like one song. These albums are classics and masterpieces that help define the heavy metal genre as it is. Next up is their 1971 third album titled Masters of Reality. The songs that I like from this album are Track 1, Sweet Leaf, Track 2, After Forever, Track 4, Children of the Grave, Track 6, Lord of This World, and Track 8, Into the Void, which is probably my favorite Black Sabbath song. Then we go to their 1972 fourth album titled Volume 4, or Black Sabbath Volume 4. Songs that I like from this album are Track 5, Super Nut, and Track 10, Under the Sun. Next up is their 1973 fifth album titled Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Songs that I like from this album are track 2, A National Acrobat, and track 4, Sabra Kadabra. After that is their 1975 sixth album titled Sabotage. Songs that I like from this album are track 1, Hole in the Sky, track 3, Symptom of the Universe, and track 5, The Thrill of It All. After that is their 1976 seventh album titled Technical Ecstasy. Songs that I like from this album are track 1, Backstreet Kids, track 2, You Won't Change Me, track 5, All the Moving Parts, and track 6, Rock and Roll Doctor. And then we go to their 1978 eighth album titled Never Say Die. The songs that I like from this album are track 3, Junior's Eyes, track 4, A Hard Road, and track 5, Shockwave. From there, we switch from Ozzy as the lead singer to Ronnie James Dio as the lead singer for their 1980 ninth album titled Heaven and Hell. Songs that I like from this album are Track 1, Neon Nights, Track 2, Children of the Sea, Track 3, Lady Evil, Track 4, Heaven and Hell, and Track 5, Wishing Well. Then we go to their 1981 tenth album titled The Ma Rules. Songs that I like from this album are Track 1, Turn Up the Night, Track 2, Voodoo, Track 5, The Mob Rules, Track 6, Country Girl, and Track 7, Slipping Away. From there we go to their 1983 album titled Born Again, 1986 album titled Seven Star, 1987 album titled The Eternal Idol, 1989 album titled Headless Cross, and their 1990 album titled Tear, T-Y-R, whatever it is. I did not like a single song on any of these albums, and that's because they changed vocalists again, and it was not for the better in my opinion. But we make a slight return with their 1992 16th album titled Dehumanizer. Songs that I like from this album are Track 1 Computer God, Track 2 After All, Track 3 TV Crimes, Track 4 Letters from Earth, Track 5 Master of Insanity, Track 6 Time Machine, and Track 9. I. Then we took some step back with their 1994 17th album titled Cross Purposes and their 1995 18th album titled Forbidden because I didn't like any of the songs from these albums. Again, they changed vocalists and again it was not for the better. Then we have the return of Ozzy for a strong finish with their 2013 19th album titled 13. Songs that I like from this album are track 1, End of the Beginning, track 3, Loner, track 5, Age of Reason, track 6, Live Forever, and track 7, Damaged Soul. And there you have it. 
That is what I think is the very best of Black Sabbath. That's all I have to say, so if you're out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.